Windows 10 has some really great images, both in the lock screen and your background images. Let's start off with a lock screen. What exactly is your lock screen? If you click on Start, click on your username, then click on Lock. That is your lock screen on your computer. So how do you turn that on so that it uses Microsoft images that rotate on a daily basis? Click on Start, go into Settings, Personalization. On the left here, click on Lock Screen, and there you can see the background is set to Windows Spotlight. You can change it to your own pictures or slideshow, but I prefer mine on the spotlight because there's some really great images some days. The only other thing on this page that I would change, if you scroll down to the bottom here, it says show lock screen background picture on the sign-in screen. If you turn this on, when you first boot up your computer and if you have a password, that Windows Spotlight image will be on that particular login screen. So now that we have these turned on, where exactly are these images stored? so that if you want them yourself, you can actually grab them because they are deleted automatically after a few days with when the next image comes out. So open up File Explorer, and in the address here, you can type this very long path, which I will post at the bottom in the description field so that you have it. As you can see in this folder, in the Assets folder, all of the files are in here, but they make no sense. Now. I can pretty much guarantee that all the lock screens are going to be these top few that have the largest file sizes, but you don't know that for certain. So let's click on one file, press Control A to, hi Control -A to highlight everything, then Control C to copy, and we're going to create a new folder on the desktop, and we'll call that folder Lock Screen Images. Open up the folder, press Control V to paste everything in. And there you can see all the files, but they still don't make any sense. So click on the field up top here where you have your actual path name and just type CMD. This is a feature of Windows 10 that will automatically open up a command prompt at this specific folder. So there we have the command prompt open and we're at the lock screen images folder. We're going to type in rename star dot star and I want to call it images underscore and we'll just put three question marks. So it will grab three of the characters from the file name as part of the image so that you don't have any two images that are the same, dot .jpg. There we go. If we look back at our folder now, we can see all the files have been renamed. And now you can see the actual images. You have a couple of different things to look at here. Firstly, these are the actual background images. Some of these are from other programs, Windows apps, which you don't really need. The ones that look like the background but are elongated like this, that's what Microsoft does for if you have a cell phone. So definitely grab those if you want it. But once you've got the images selected that you want, let's select these three. We'll copy them. And you can put them in your pictures folder or wherever you want. Now, if you open up these images, you can see there was the last three lock screen images that Microsoft did. So you can certainly put those into your pictures folder. And once you're done with this, like all of these other ones, you'll never use. So you can just delete the whole folder, no big deal. Now, there is a case where I've seen it multiple times when I've dealt with customers where the lock screen image is not changing. And that's because the files have become corrupt. There is a way to fix this very quickly. First thing you have to do is go back into personalization and your lock screen, change your background image so it's on anything other than Windows Spotlight, because we don't want Windows Spotlight enabled. Open up your File Explorer again, and there's two sets of files we want to delete. First one is in this location, which is Settings. There's a uh, settings.dat file in here, which we want to delete. I'll Again, I'll post the path name at the bottom here so that you'll have it. So we'll delete that particular file. Then we'll go back into the same folder that we were before. We had all these strange named files. We'll highlight everything, so Control-A, Delete. Now you can see the whole folder is empty, so we have no lock screen images at the moment. The moment we come back into our lock screen settings and we turn this on to Windows Spotlight, it'll take a moment or two, and then we should see this folder will start propagating with the files. It could take up to five minutes, but you can see mine is coming almost right away. So we know those files are coming back in and we'll have the lock screen again. Just to verify it, you can click on Start, click on your name, Lock, and there we go, we have a new lock screen image. 
So keep that in mind if ever you see the lock screen is not ch uh, changing for you. Next, let's look at the background. Your background images are in the same spot. Obviously, your background is your entire desktop. Click on Start, go into Settings, same thing, Personalization, but this time on the left, click on Background. Now you can see here, it's got a picture, hmm, they're kind of bland. Now what most people don't realize is on the right-hand side here, it says Get New Wallpapers Every Day from Microsoft. This uses a program called Bing Desktop. Do get it, it's really good. There's some great images that come out here every day. And on my main computer, I use this all the time. So click on Install Now once the screen loads. It'll download the bingwallpaper.exe. Let's run it. I don't want to set MSN as my homepage. So here's a caution to everybody. Please read the screens that come up because they make changes that you might not want. So read the screen, uncheck what you don't want, and install it. Let's give this a second just to finish installing on the computer. Already, you can see it's already changed our background to, the, to today's image. Now, every day, Microsoft will automatically rotate the images, and everybody will get the same image every day. So if you're on your desktop using uh, Bing Desktop right now, you will have this image on your background. Let's just finish that off. If you click on your little carrot at the bottom next to your time, you'll have all your programs that are currently running. One of them is the B for Bing Wallpaper. Right click on that, and here you can change your wallpaper, and I'll usually leave it as the day's current wallpaper. But you can enable daily refresh, which is on by default, so every day this background will automatically change for you. So again, the same question comes up is, what happens if you want those wallpaper or you want to save them because it only keeps the last six or so background images. Again, open up File Explorer, paste this path in, and you can see here is the current background image. And sorry, I have to correct a previous comment. It only keeps the last image in your cached files location. So if you want this image, you can just simply copy it from here and open up your pictures folder and there we go. Now you can name it whatever you want. And you can see these ones are automatically a JPEG image. So it they've basically done the whole thing for you. There are other programs that do put background images into different places. Those you can look at through the registry, which I won't go through in this particular video. But hopefully, this has helped you determine where your lock screen and where your background images are stored so that you can grab them and keep them for your own use. Again, if you enjoyed this video, do take a second just to give us a thumbs up. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Take care.